Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kogules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nixon Kogules. I'm the founder and the director of the Kogules Industry Spy Network and the Kogules Nation. This is going to be an addendum to last week's video in which I did a fresh install of Debian 12 on a virtual machine. Since then, I have made this new virtual machine and got it set up a little bit, but not too much. For today's video, we're going to get this set up for gaming purposes. You will see how in just a minute. First things first, we're going to pull up a terminal and do a quick sudo apt update. Now, I have already done a couple of things for this machine. And I've also added the, what looks to be the back ports as well. I did follow one guide on a few things to do after installing Debian 12 and I followed some of the methods. One of them is actually installing the Flatpak repositories. To do that, you just need to do sudo apt install flatpak and then gnome software plugin flatpak. Now I already have this installed so you do not need to worry about me not having to install it. You will though, so just hit enter, enter your password, bada bing bada boom, you got that installed. Now, you'll need to do this one right here. This is the command that you will need to use in order to add the Flathub repositories. And that's exactly what I have done here already. So I do not need to hit enter. This may end up being a shorter video than expected, and this will be similar to the Mint video which was the first mini video in how to install Linux for gaming purposes. So don't need to worry about that. The next command we're going to need to do is sudo dpkg dash dash add architecture. Now we need to add the 32-bit architecture. The current repositories right now are 64-bit. But if we just add i386, this will add the 32-bit repositories. Again, you hit enter and just let Debian do its thing, right? So I will hit enter. This will add i386. Now we need to do quick sudo apt update. And there we go. All packages are up to date thus far. Now, that said, there are a couple of things you're going to want to do as well. One of the things you need to do for the NVIDIA side of things, if you use an NVIDIA driver, um, well, that's easy to install. sudo apt install nvidia driver, just like that. Hit enter, let apt do its thing, and install the nvidia kernels and whatnot. Now, another thing you're going to want to do, sudo nano, we're going to have to use nano to do this. Actually, I'll try to use it in vim, but you can do whatever you want in terms of text editing. I'm just going to use vim. Because, well, obviously, I'm starting to learn it, and I could use the practice. And the file we need to edit is etsy default, and then grub. I can find it. So Vim is not installed on the machine. That's weird. Vim's not even installed on the machine? What in the world? Okay, I guess I'll use nano then. But in your text editor of choice, I'll just do rhgb quiet. And then we're going to do the following, nvidia-drm.modeset equals 1, which will basically enable the DRM for NVIDIA drivers to load them in a little faster. And then another thing, this is for CPU performance, mitigations equals off. We're going to hit this. Control O in nano, enter, control X, then sudo update grub, which will update our grub configuration file. Now I'm not going to really need to deal with any of this so far, so I should be good on that front. The next step in this process is to, if you haven't done it yet, actually install the NVIDIA driver and then reset your machine. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial because I don't want to wait too long and it's already getting late this evening at the time of recording. That said, the next thing to do is go into install steam, sudo apt install steam 
dash installer and also steam devices now once you hit enter and enter your sudo password if need be you're going to install a lot of different 32-bit libraries I'm not gonna do that here but you get the idea but what I will be doing instead I'm gonna be launching LibreWolf since I already have that installed on the machine there are a couple things I'm gonna to need to do but I can get that changed without any issues so let me do that real quick I'll be right back with you in just a minute okay so we have here wine hq we're gonna download the latest version of wine hq for debian now to do this i already have i386 so we are good there we've already done that earlier now we need to add the repository key the easiest way to do these types of things you just have to control c whatever it is control shift and c inside of the terminal and then we're going to do a wget, which will grab the wine key. And then this one right here, this is the one you need in order to grab it. Now we need to update the package information. So in this case, it'll be sudo apt update, update it again. This will also include the wine builds. And then I like using the staging branch, but again, I'm not going to be doing any installation because it is kind of silly for me. Especially since I do not want to take a long time. But hit enter once you do these commands. You should be good to go at least on that front. Now I don't want to be forgetting any more things here. But that's at least the basics for you to get set up in terms of of Debian for gaming purposes although I'm gonna do one more thing because game mode is already okay so you can do this as well sudo apt install game mode and this will install the game mode thing for you what is Lutris like it would be better if I actually did that and that is a lot so you can do Lutris as well. And you get the whole deal. Pretty much install all the software you need. Follow my Mint tutorial if you have no idea what in the world I am talking about. That said, I do want to cover one more thing. There was an entitled user that thought I had forgotten a little something called Green with Envy. Which is an NVIDIA GPU overclocking tool. I'm not going to go over how to install that because I don't overclock my GPUs. Since I already have a 3060 on my machine, why in the world would I need to? So I wanted to get that out there. I now know about the green with envy thing and no, there is no stinking way I'm going to go over how to install that. You're going to have to do this on your own. And by the same token, there's also some NVIDIA settings thing as well. I did try that, no result. So to the user that told us that we forgot about it, we just didn't know about it at the time. We didn't forget anything. So please bear that in mind. That said, how about a couple of bonus tips? So as you can see, I've already taken out Firefox ESR. Another thing I'm gonna have to take out is going to be LibreOffice, at least the latest version that Debian Bookworm comes with. And dearie me, that is quite a bit. But you are going to want to remove this in order to keep up with compatibility for Microsoft Word. But if you have a fellow Linux user who uses LibreOffice, I don't think you really need to worry about it, but just in case, get it the updated version but i would not recommend the flat pack version because you are going to want to keep LibreOffice on your machine and by the same token if you want to install a different kernel well let me launch librewolf again and find the 
the Lycorix kernel. Here it is. So here, this is the kernel I would recommend installing. I wouldn't dare try the Xanmon kernel unless you want to DIY because your machine is probably gonna break. So if you want an alternative kernel that is to the latest version, I'd recommend this one. I use it on Mint myself, and that's why I <laughs> even went to the Linux or Liquorix kernel in the first place. It is gonna be the latest version. I think we're in like 6.4, 6.5, something like that. It's whatever the latest version of the Linux kernel is. But otherwise, that's about it. It's basically the Linux Mint tutorial, but a little more customizable, I would say. But that said, if you like what you see and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of five ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Kogulas Nation. Hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Kogulas Nation. Hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific time. You can also comment on all of our videos. All videos are open for comment. And last but not least, you can share this channel with your family and friends and get them into gaming on Linux. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of time for today's video. Thank you, and good night.